Okay, okay, okay. What's up, guys? It's your guy, WF Colonel, representing WF Madden, and we got a pretty dope play for you guys. But um, before we get into that, if you guys really enjoy Madden tips and you like not just getting the tips for you, but actually learning the ins and outs and why things work. A lot of Madden tips, um, YouTube pages and sites don't actually break down why things work. If you like that type of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. It should be somewhere underneath this video. Subscribe to your boy if you like learning things like that. But let's get into the video without um, you know, spending too much time. Today's play will be from the Miami Dolphins playbook, as you can see on the right hand screen. It is from the single back ace close formation, and the play is called Y Seam. That's the play. Now, since it's a uh, two tight end uh, formation, we're just gonna, you know, have the defense be in a three four. We're gonna start off in a cover three, and we're gonna show you cover two as well. So this is a very easy setup. This is what the play looks like originally. Here's what you want to do to maximize this play. You want to take your X receiver, put him on a flat route. You want to take your B wide receiver, put him on a hitch, and depending on how you feel about um, you know, your O-line or your protections in general, you can either leave the running back on his route to the flat to the right side, or you can just block him. I most of the times would uh, opt to block him. But the great thing about this play is it's a mirrored play. It's a balanced formation. You can flip your play in and just run the same thing on the other side. So same setup to the other side, just flip, flip the play. But we're gonna run it to the, uh, we're gonna run it this way this time. So this is what the play will look like after you're done setting everything up. Now, let me break down what your reads are before we get into it. Uh, your first read you're gonna read, I like reading the uh, flat corner side of the field first. I like, um, your first read is gonna be the flats. If it's the flats are wide open, take that throw to X. Um, if that's not open, you uh, wait a little bit and see what goes on developing with the Y wide receiver. I'm going to show you in a replay the little pocket you'll like to throw to him. Y also is very good against man coverage as well. On the right side of the field, you're going, well, pretty much let me break down what why it's so effective the left side of the field. The X is flat route. He takes the defense, the flat defender takes him out wide, which allows Y to push vertically while you know all that's happening with the flat defender going to the outside and he breaks to the outside of, away from the um, hook curls sitting him in a nice little pocket to get a nice easy throw on the right side of the field you have a high low concept A is pushing the defense back deep allowing B to sit underneath for the easy completion B is also pretty daggone good against man coverage as well so you have two man coverage routes between Y and B. And even in zone, depending on what the zone is or how the defense is playing at, at a particular zone, you'll just take the best um, the best matchup of what goes on with, between A and B. So the, a whole lot of easy reads. But let's get into it. Um, duh, duh, duh. I'm just going to show you a cover three. I'm just going to take a sack, go into the replay, and show you everything first. And then we're going to get onto the field and show you how things go against cover three. So we're going to take this sack. Okay, let's head to the replay. All right, like I said first, I like reading the left side first, the, the flat the corner combination. So your first read is this flat route. You can see automatically as soon as you take, as soon as you snap the ball, you got a guy trailing him going following him to the flat so you already know that's covered but you see like i said earlier while that's going on your tight ends working vertically allowing the flat defender to be taken out taken out to the outside but then he ends up breaking away from the hook defender allowing a nice pocket to be thrown right here against cover three and the same thing against cover two i'm gonna show you cover two later as well so you have option cover three, bam, you can just tight end right here. Then for whatever reason, if you don't like it or it's not open, swing your eyes back to this right side of the field, read the relationship that's going on between the hitch and the seam. Like I said, the seam is gonna push the defense back deep, allowing an easy completion to this hitch route. 
And uh, depending on if this player is being user covered, user defended, he may jump and bite on the, um, the hitch, which allows the seam to get back deep as well. But even in situations like this, if this computer control defender, look and see, look and see what happens with this computer control defender. Hopefully I can get everything in the picture so you guys can see. So my quarterback still has the ball. You can see he still has the ball, but the, the defender holds up and starts to come forward right about here. Depending on if you feel comfortable making this throw, you can still dot this ball in between that hook defender, if he's computer controlled, and that safety. We're gonna take a, it's a very difficult throw, but we're gonna also take a look at that. So we're gonna explore what goes on between this corner route, that baby hitch, and um, this seam against cover three real quick. But you can hit all of them. So again, cover three, I'm gonna throw the um, same setup but I'm going to throw the corner out to Y this time so you guys can see it. Easy completion to Y. I'm not gonna go into the replay because I pretty much just broke down exactly how everything works. This time I'm gonna throw the baby hitch to B. Very easy throw. That's an easy four yards. It's a good throw that can keep the chains moving. Now, the moment of truth, well, I'm gonna see if I can fit this ball into the seam route. That's, again, this Fitz, Fitzpatrick's throwing the ball. Who knows if we're gonna get it in, but we're just gonna try it out one time just to see. I ag caught him. <laughs> it, it's a catch. It was an ag catch. But anyway, man, obviously I wouldn't advise that. There's obviously two two easier throws you can make to the tight end and the hitch underneath but this is really just a a read if you know you see that you have it especially if this guy's user controlled but it's really a toss in the air literally if you know if it's a computer control i didn't feel safe holding onto the ball longer for him to clear this defender right here see like the ball's already in the air at this point for this to really work, you have to hold on to the ball a little bit longer and, you know, it's something you really have to practice. But you can fit it in before the safety gets there, but I wouldn't recommend it because obviously you have two other better options. So that's cover three for you right now. Let's show you guys cover two. So you know how everything sets up against cover two. Same setup. We're just going to take the sack. Don't gotta really break anything down. Same read, same progression, same everything. Great pocket, but we're just, we're just gonna throw the ball away. So, let's go into the replay. Insta replay. Same reads, you're gonna read the flats, but obviously you see the corner sitting right here, so you know it's covered. So now your next read is gonna be this guy right here. You see that he pushed the defense back deep, and then he has a, an availability in this voided area, pretty much in between the hash and the numbers. So, especially if you see cover two, I would more or less um, lowball this every single time. If you see it's cover two, it's just a safer throw. And I'm going to show you lowball it, possession catch it, it's almost automatic. But you still got the same situation happening on the right side. The, the seam is pushing the defense back deep which allows the baby hitch to sit right here for the easy completion. And depending on what goes on back here on this back end, you may be able to get this seam. It just depends on how the defense plays it or what adjustments they make, but this seam may pop open. But just, you know, don't just get in the habit of just throwing this baby hitch every single time. Look to see what actually is going on with this seam. So now that you guys have seen that, that uh, breakdown, we're gonna throw the uh, the corner to Y. We're gonna throw the baby hitch. And then that's pretty much what I'm gonna show you against cover two. Low ball, possession catch, easy completion. It's money in the bank. I'm gonna hit to the replay this time. I didn't do it before, but because it was just automatic against cover three. But cover two, there is a window. They're, this it, On the outside, they're playing cloud flats in this Tampa 2. 
So it's a little bit, it's even tighter than it would be if they were playing hard flats with this corner. Hard flats would have him literally like pretty much pressed up against this flat route, giving you much wider room to get this ball in. But it's going to work against cover two regardless. You just have to know, okay, I have a void, voided area, fit this ball in there. You know, I probably could have thrown it a little bit quicker too. But Fitzpatrick also wasn't as accurate as he needed to be, well, as other quarterbacks, into the way that I would like it. But he still was able to fit this ball in pretty easily for the, you know, for the chain moving catch. Then I'm just going to show you the baby hitch right here. Then we're going to call it a day. Easy completion, and you're still able to work around to get more yards after the catch. So it's a pretty easy play for you guys to run. You can implement it into your scheme. Like I said, to top off the video, that um, yeah, let me just set up one more time so you guys can see it. Uh, I just showed you cover two and cover three. Why his tight end? That tight end is really good against man coverage, and you still have B as an option against man coverage as well. So you're able to pretty much beat every single coverage with not too much ease. It's not even hard to read this type of play. But as I mentioned also at the, at the start of the, the video, you can also get leave this running this the running back on his um, the swing to the right, which also gives you another outlet potential to the outside right. And it also uh, sets up kind of like a stick combo, route combo between B and um, the running back as well. So there's a lot of options with this play, depending on what you like to do. So it's a pretty easy play to implement into your scheme. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and thumbs up for your boy. If you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe to me because I like to not only show you the plays, but break down exactly how things work so you guys can actually learn and improve as Madden players. It's easy just to, for me to feed you a setup, make a two minute video, have a, a day, you know, call it a day. But I want you guys to actually benefit, benefit from it and learn and become better Madden players. So it's your boy WF, current representing WF Madden. I'm out guys.